I know, guys. Now, I know Nora seems tough, but there's more to my wife, girlfriend, wife friend than that. You know, she does things sometimes that it really surprise you. In fact, just last week, she... What? She had enough. Oh, no, no. Oh, no, come on, man. You already started to tell us. You can't check your swing now. Check with what? <laughs> just a sports reference. Oh, I'm going ahead. <laughs> okay, you know, it's, it's really no big deal, but um, last week was my birthday. Yeah, happy birthday. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> anyway. She surprised me with the cake. So, so I went into her bedroom, and she was the cake. <laughs> uh, she was frosting, whipped cream, and an ironically placed cherry. Well, well, I guess by the time he got around to blowing out the candles, the wish was pretty much pointless. <laughs> wow, Bess, look at this. You finally found a use for that lame fondue set we got for our wedding. Which I love, by the way, in case any of you gave to us. Okay, let me save room, because for dessert I got a cake for Elliot. <laughs> What's so funny? Uh, nothing. Annie, nothing. There's that word again. Uh, for really, Annie doesn't mean anything. Yeah, I'm sorry. Okay, well, anyway, I thought it would be nice for Elliot to have a cake. Nor didn't get him one. So, Elliot, you can have your cake and eat it too. <laughs> I mean, what's so funny? Oh my god, you told them. No, I didn't tell. Yes. Okay, tell Bess what? Thanks a lot, Bess. Thanks a lot, Bess what? <laughs> oh, man, Elliot told us that in confidence. It's not something you should be blabbing to your wife. Strangers on the bus, maybe. <laughs> it's, look, you guys, it's not my fault. After five years of marriage, they learn how to make you say things. It's half the time, you don't even know that you're talking. It's spooky. <laughs> how could you tell anyone about that? It was private. Uh, Nora, first of all, I was defending you. And secondly, I like the cake. A lot. You know what? That's not the point. It's embarrassing. Okay. I know now that there was a cake. So what? Was there something on top of it? Eventually. Oh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> you know, you have done plenty of embarrassing things I could tell them about. How would you like it if they knew you wear women's underwear? Oh, I did it once as a joke. Yeah, well, it must have been a comfortable joke because you wore them the rest of the day. <laughs> at, least, at least now I know what to get you for your birthday next year. Ah, that's real funny, Stephen. It's a good thing you don't have any embarrassing stories. Oh, wait a minute. Didn't you once give a gay cop your phone number to get out of a speeding ticket? <laughs> okay, all right. First of all, it was a fake number, okay? And how did... <laughs> Best Peter self looking for a bathroom at Nordstrom's. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yep, if I'm going down, I'm taking you with me. <laughs> oh, look who's laughing, the girl who locked herself in the trunk of her own car. What? Twice. <laughs> They only knew about the one time. Well, when the second time happened, we were still just friends. At the time, I was telling everybody. <laughs> Gordon sleeps with the light on. Yeah, that's only so I can find my way to the bathroom. And so far, no accidents. <laughs> okay, at least I don't laugh during sex. <laughs> at least I don't cry during sex. You told? You told? <laughs> Best moves her lips when she reads. Nora knows all the words to endless love. Gordon takes bubble baths. Annie doesn't know who the vice president is. I forgot for like a second. Really? Then who is it? What about what you did? You don't know what I did. Why won't somebody tell me what she did? Oh, no, okay, enough. Good enough. God, guys, this is ridiculous.
come on, it's obvious that we all know a lot of little secrets about each other, okay? In a family full of women, I suppose that's to be expected. But just because we know things about each other doesn't mean that we need the people that we know things about to know that we know what we know, you know? <laughs> Stephen's right. We should all just forget about what we heard here and try to have a nice dinner. Yeah. yeah. How about I go open another bottle of wine? I'll help you. Dick Cheney! <laughs>